Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messi Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. What's up, guys? So, in today's video, I'm actually going to a session, and as you can see uh, by the playlist, there's a few little tryhards in this session. I'm going to check the map, I can see that they're fighting at the beach, and I haven't had a, like, a good free mode war in a while at the beach, so of course I go over and check it out and join in. So unfortunately the fight hadn't gone on for that long and three of the guys already lagged out. And then in the corner of my eye, I noticed that one of the guys, he manages to join back in the same session. Now that little attempt of me dropping BST really messed me up because it meant that these guys can use BST and I can't until I run back and get it, which you'll see is a problem. Also, God love the aimless rocket spamming just to make my screen shake, which is really annoying and really stupid, and is one of the reasons why I think beach or weapons is stupid. Now I think my fight against this guy was pretty unlucky because I kept managing to get a hit marker and either the kill was stolen or the hit marker just didn't do enough damage to kill him. And one of the annoying things you'll see this guy do is he just gets his grenade launcher out and just starts spamming it. Like you can see that he's not even near me but for some reason he just keeps on spamming and the only thing it does is just shake my screen, it gets really annoying and I'm just hiding over here because I don't, I don't want to fight him when my screen's all shaking. And of course it being my luck, even though I've got BST I can still hit mark him and he didn't die and he manages to suicide. And that's one of the annoying things so that's uh, one of the reasons why I make it so I lag a little bit so it can be a one shot. Not to make it unfair, just so that these guys don't have enough time to kill themselves and be little, little nerds. And then I hit my grim even though I've got BST. And then, even with the laggy connection, where it would be a one shot, I can hit him in the body, and he doesn't die. Now a guy in a press mark 2 comes over and at this point I didn't know that they were friends with Dark Ninja so I just thought it's like a 1v1v1 but it turns out I'm about to get teamed on.
At this point, I wanted to leave my CEO just to show that I'm not going to use BST anymore and see if this guy wants to play somewhat fair by not using BST at all. It just makes sense because if you've both got BST, it's basically the same as neither of you have BST. I didn't quite catch that this guy just one shot me with a marksman rifle which means that he's using BST against me. Now I'm not in a CO so he knows that I can't drop BST but for some reason he thinks that he needs to use it in a 2v1. Now I don't really care because I could just go back in a CO and use BST again but I just wanted to give myself a challenge and see if this guy would play fair. Another thing I do is I ask this guy why he's using BST. Now I don't really care that he's using BST because again I could just use it back but I just wanted to know his reasoning behind it and see if he'd give me like a like a, just a normal answer. This guy gives a really try-hardy response to that question. He says, the game gives me this possibility. Like, uh, okay, if you think, if you don't agree with playing fair, that's fine. I'll just do whatever I want. And I'll clap the absolute shit out of you. Except that plan can't really work when you've got a guy in the presser, off radar, going after you constantly. So right now I've got to deal with this guy in the oppressor, who's just flying around, and I've got to deal with the other guy as well, who's just constantly sniping me in the back. And the worst part is this guy in the oppressor is pretty stupid as well, so he keeps flying really close so I can just auto-aim him off. I send this little savory guy a message, tell him to go away, just because all he's doing is being a nuisance and he keeps dying anyway, so like what's the point of him being around, he might as well just leave and stop dying. And then this absolute brain box says why don't you do it, so it's basically saying why don't I go away. I mean I like fighting so of course I'm not going to run away from a fight, and also I'm not the one that's dying constantly.
So I think this guy would have taken a while to give up, so I just couldn't be bothered. And it was like quite late, it was like probably 3 in the morning. So I decided to leave, turn on my PlayStation, and go to bed. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Let me know what you thought about it. But yeah, see you in the next one.